Putin panic. Ukrainian Marines destroy 312 Russian K-52 helicopter near Robotine frontline. Kiev has shot down one of Russia's prized K-52 alligator helicopters using a manned portable air defense system man pads close to the southern front lines, according to Ukraine's military. Soldiers fighting with Ukraine's 47th Brigade destroyed one of Moscow's scout attack helicopters with man pads near Robotine in Ukraine's Saporizhia region, Ukrainian Commander Brick. Gen. Alexander Tarnavsky of the Tavri Operational Strategic Grouping of Forces wrote on Telegram Monday. In an update posted to social media on Tuesday morning, the general staff of Ukraine's armed forces said a K-52 helicopter had been downed in the past 24 hours without specifying additional details. Ukraine frequently publicizes reports of the K-52 alligators being shot down by Kiev forces. The K-52, designed to target tanks, enemy military vehicles, manpower and helicopters, has a maximum speed of up to 186 miles per hour, according to Russian state military exporter, Rozo Boren Export. The K-52M is a variant of the K-52 Alligator helicopter that has been modernized based on the combat experience of Russian forces during the Syrian campaign. The K-52M features missile armament compatible with the missile armament of the newest Mi-20A-10M attack helicopter. Both helicopters now support sensors and missiles that can engage targets over 10 kilometers away, staying clear of adversary manpad range. The K-52M's weapon of choice appears to be the 9M-127M Vickr Whirlwind 1-missile system. The Vickr is an air-launched anti-tank guided missile ATGM system. Each K-52 can carry 12 Vickr transport and launch containers with ATGMs. The 9M-127 owned Vikran ADGM is a supersonic missile featuring laser guidance and a powerful tandem heat warhead weighing 12 kilograms. The missile can penetrate 1,200 millimeters of armor, allowing it to defeat all modern tanks, irrespective of where it strikes the tank. The Vikra missile can even target aerial targets, moving up to 800 kilometers per hour. The 10km range of the Vikran is twice the range of the Stinger manpads. According to Ukraine's military, Russia has lost 312 helicopters since the start of all-out war in February 2022. Open-source intelligence outlet Oryx has visually confirmed the downing of 39 K-52s and a total of 100 Russian helicopters. In late July, the British Defense Ministry said the Kremlin's fighters had likely lost around 40 of the K-52s in Ukraine, but that the helicopters have imposed a heavy cost on Ukraine. Russia said on Monday that Ukraine had lost 245 helicopters in the past year and a half. Media could not independently verify these figures. When Ukraine launched a counteroffensive in June, a well-planned minefield, Russian remote mining equipment, and the usage of the Kamovka 52 alligator attack chopper were among the unpleasant surprises the Ukrainian forces encountered. The alligators have been known to be expertly disabling advancing Ukrainian armor day and night in every kind of weather, as seen in several films broadcast on social media daily.
they are covered by Ukrainian fighter strikes by Russian Aerospace Forces Ruoff Sumanis 35 Siemens and Su-30 MS jets, equipped with long-range RVD missiles, and continuously patrol the front lines of conflict. They operate safely from location outside the MAMPAD range of advancing Ukrainian columns. Ukrainian officials, who often deny such things, have been obliged to express concerns about the K-52S lethality due to the burned-out wreckages of their armored vehicles all over the battlefield. Russian military bloggers claim that Kyiv's troops had carried out a limited infantry attack with armored vehicles and tank support towards Robotine, but that Moscow's forces had repelled it, the Washington-based Institute for the Study of War think tank said in its latest update. One Russian mill blogger said Russia's elite paratroopers were being sent from Ukraine's Kherson region to Robotine. Russia's defense ministry said its forces had used airstrikes and artillery to stop Ukrainian attacks in Robotine. On Tuesday, Ukraine's general staff said Russia had been unsuccessful in attempts to regain territory around Robotine, adding that Orykiv was one of more than 15 settlements that was shelled by artillery over the past 24 hours.